हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज़ पी के दिस इज़ द न्यू वर्जन ऑफ इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इट इज़ वर्जन 3.0 वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड टू प्रीवियस वर्जन्स नाउ इन दिस वर्जन वी हैव एडेड फ्यू मोर फीचर सो आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग दिस फ्रॉम माय वेबसाइट यू विल गेट दिस जिप फाइल फर्स्ट यू नीड टू अनजिप दिस जस्ट राइट क्लिक एंड देन क्लिक ऑन एक्सटेक्ट ऑल क्लिक ऑन एक्सटेक्ट so we have this file here in this folder just right click and first you need to go to the properties and unblock this file and apply okay now this file is ready to use you can just double click on this and it will open with a user form okay so this is the main window of this form and here we have different sections on the top left corner first we have given the minimize and maximize button so you can just minimize this from here or you can maximize this and you can work on the excel parallelly the first section is the report section and here you can select the start date and date by default it is giving the today's date however you can change it as you want for example you can select from 1st november till Let's say I'm selecting here 10th of November and just click on refresh. Then you will get the latest data in these sections. So we are showing here purchase, then sale, then profit during this date. Then we have an inventory in the quantity and we have the inventory in terms of amount also. You can just click on this PDF to generate the report in the PDF. Just click here. and from 1st of november till 10th of november it will generate a pdf and here you can see the pdf is opened okay so this is the pdf report you can see it by product also the total purchase and the sale of the quantity then the available stock for each product and what is the stock value so we can see whole information here this information is in amount now let's close this pdf and click on okay So this was the reporting section. Now I'll show you the sale purchase transaction section. Here we have the add update section inside this, wherein you can add a new transaction or update the existing transaction. So let's say I want to add a new transaction. So I want to purchase the product number two. So this is product two. You can put your original product. Here we have given some dummy names. Okay. Now select the transaction type. So let's say I want to sell this. and uh, i want to sell let's say 20 quantity as i select the sale automatically it has taken the sale price if i select here purchase then it will take the purchase price so let's select the sale and uh, by default it will take the today's date as a transaction date but you can change it using this calendar also now let's click on add so this transaction has been added we can see at what up this is the transaction okay and everything will be updated automatically including the available stock for this product now i will show you the one more thing that is the filter part of this transaction so you are seeing here in this list we have given here filter you can select the all period or you can uncheck this so it will filter by this date so this is 30 days window but you can change it as you want so let's say i want to see all of the transaction of 6 of november so i'll select here november and let's take the 6 of november and date is already 6 of november just refresh so we can see these are the transaction we have two purchase and three sale you can search it by product name or the transaction type let's say i want to see all of purchase or all of sale so i'll type here sale and refresh so i can see only sale transactions okay you can edit any of the information using this button or just double click that information will be pre filled here you can change the quantity or the rate if you want let's say i want to change the quantity as 20 not 22 this time i will create update not the add so just click on update so that information will be updated okay if you want to delete any of the record you can simply select and click on the delete record so let's say i don't want to put any filter and i want to delete this particular record just click that record will be deleted okay 
and uh, then you can refresh and see it here we have the export to excel whatever data we are, we are seeing here if you want to export this into the excel you can simply just click the data will be exported to the new excel file here you can see you can further use this as you want now on the right hand side we have the product master and the inventory management you can add the new product to this product master so let's say i want to add a new product so i will just put the product name for now i'm just putting some dummy name let's say p14 purchase price i'm putting here 50 and the sale price i'm putting here 75 so just keep a margin whatever you want uh, for one quantity and uh, reorder label you can put as per uh, your requirement i'm putting here one just click on this plus icon to add the new product okay so we can see the new product p14 is added here as of now we have zero quantity okay so first you need to purchase the quantity for this product then only you will see the available quantity here okay and the stock value is also zero and it is showing as a out of stock so let's add some stock here so you have to go to the sale purchase transaction and you can see that new product is appearing here select that and let's say i want to purchase 100 quantity and select here purchase if you try to put on sale then it will take the sale price if you click add it will show this message you have zero quantity available for this stock so you can't make a sale so let's uh, make a purchase first and just click on add so that new transaction is added and uh, we can see the available stock is 100 now okay so now you can make the sale uh, transaction okay now uh, here we have given the edit button also if you want to edit the information for this for example if you want to change the sale price or the purchase price or the reorder level you can make the change to make the change you can just double click on the product name just double click and we can see that information is filled and uh, now you can just change the price let's say i want to make it 55 in place of 50 and just click on update so that is updated now okay it is 55 if you want to see the data for the products which has to be ordered just click here so we can see these uh, three product has to be ordered immediately because the available stock is less than the order label or you want to see the out of stock product just click here so these are the products which are out of stock we have the stock at zero these products has to be ordered immediately and uh, if you select all or any other button and you want to search by the product name then you can simply type the product name or the partial name and just hit the enter then you can see that product will appear immediately okay or you can just put the partial product name and just refresh then still you will get it okay and now if you want to export the product information into the excel you can simply click on export to excel and the data is exported into the excel we can see here all right so that is how we can use this inventory management system 3.0 and finally once you have done all transaction everything you have to click on this save button all right friends so that is how you can use this inventory management system to manage your business friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for the watching.